hey guys welcome back to next gen blog uh, and in this video i want to talk about a possible solution to the video preview lag issue in vscc free video editor now we have a lot of things to talk here and to help me i've opened up my notepad and i will be writing the points one by one so that everything is clear now the first point is if you are trying to edit a high resolution and high frame rate video then you need a high end system to handle such kind of editing so high resolution and high frame rate video requires high end system so keep this in mind editing of a high resolution and high frame rate video requires a high end system so let's say you're trying to edit a high resolution and high frame rate video but you have a low end system that is your laptop or um, computer does not have enough ram or storage then vsgc is going to hang or freeze and um, your preview is going to hang so this is the first point so keep that in mind second point is even if you are trying to edit a low resolution and low frame rate video so even if you are editing a low resolution and low frame rate video there is still a possibility that you might face preview lag issues and this is because output differs from system to system so there is no one size fits all solution it is highly unlikely that you will face any problem if you are editing a low resolution and low frame rate video but there is um, a slight possibility that you might face some preview lag issues so you need to keep these two points in mind all right now the third point is you need to figure out what kind of editing your laptop or computer can handle so you need to figure that out first so for example my laptop can handle editing of videos whose resolution is 1280 by 720 all right so my laptop can handle editing of videos whose resolution is 1280 by 720 and uh, I face no problem in the preview while when I'm editing my videos whose resolution is 1280 by 720 I don't face any problems in my preview when I am kind of um, editing the video and watching the preview I face no problem but if the resolution of the video which I'm trying to edit is 1920 by 1080 right here problems start so right at this particular resolution problems start in my laptop and um, while i'm while i can edit videos whose resolution is 1920 by 1080 but the preview lag issue starts from this particular resolution in my laptop so you need to figure out the um, what kind of editing your laptops can your laptop or pc can handle so 1280 by 720 resolution videos can be easily edited and viewed in the preview in my laptop 1920 by 1080 videos can be edited but i face problems in the preview so you need to figure out um, what kind of editing your laptop or pc can handle this is the third point now the fourth point is what you should do what you should do what is the solution to this entire problem now what uh, again what i understood after using vscc for the past 15 months is that the preview depends on the project parameters the preview depends on project parameters 
so you have to be extremely um, careful what project parameters you are setting and your project parameters should be based on your video parameters so let me just expand my notepad file your project parameters should be based on video parameter on your video parameters all right so your preview is based on project parameters and your project parameters should be based on your video parameters now what do i mean by this so first of all let me just go to my downloads folder and let me just show you and let me just open my downloads folder and let me just go back let me just go back to um, VSGC video editor. Now, when you click on blank project, so by project parameters, I mean the resolution and frame rate of the project. So you need to keep this in mind. So what is the resolution and frame rate which you're setting for your project? When you click on blank project, what is the resolution and frame rate which you are setting? So you need to set the resolution and frame rate depending on your um, video parameters. So suppose you have recorded any video and you need to first note down the resolution of your video and your frame rate of your video. If you do not know how to see the resolution and frame rate of your video, what you need to do is go to your video. Suppose this is my video, right click on your video. right click on your video and click on properties and then click on details now if you look inside details frame width is 640 frame height is 360 and frame rate is 25 frames per second so this is what you need suppose you're editing you have recorded a video and you want to edit in edit it in vsdc so the first thing which you need to note is the width and height which is the resolution of your video so in this particular case it is 640 by 360 and you need to note the frame rate which is 25 frames per second now when you create a new project in vscc you need to you know write the same resolution and frame rate so inside resolution so right here frame width is 640 by 360 right so in VSVC, inside resolution, you have to select 640 by 360. And the uh, aspect ratio is 16, 16 is to 9. 640 by 360, 16 is to 9. And the frame rate, frame rate was 25 frames per second. So inside frame rate, you need to select 25 frames per second. And then click on OK. So what has happened is I have created a project with the same width and height and frame rate as that of my video. And now if I just quickly import that particular video. So let me just cancel right here and let me just select the video. This was the video, so let me just select it and click on open. And now click on OK. So now my project parameters and my video parameters are completely aligned. And I should face no problem in the preview. And you will face no problem in the preview. And um, also because this is a low resolution video 640 by 360 is really resolution of my video is really small so my laptop will clearly play this video without any hiccups but even if you still feel that you know you're facing some problem then what you can do is you can you know inside preview this is the preview option where 720 pixels is selected by default so 
a little right to it you will find this uh, drop down list so click on this drop down list and now you can select you know any resolution you can select a lower resolution to view the preview if you are facing problem so let's say I'm, I select 360 pixels and this particular video will now play in 360 pixels perfect so right now I'm not facing any problem even when it was 720 pixels I was not facing any problem so this is one possible solution apart from this there are other solutions as well if you go to YouTube and if you search VSTC preview lag there are two videos which kind of um, talk exclusively about this and both were uploaded in VSTC's official YouTube channel so the first video is this one how to reduce video preview lagging and it is seven minute five seconds video and um, there are a couple of solutions given and the second video is this one which is how to improve video preview quality in VSTC by skipping frames so this is also an, a second video which just talks about this only how to enhance the preview I will give the link to both these videos in the description box below you can check them out personally I did not feel any difference I tried the solutions which were given in these two videos but I was facing the same problem until I figured out that my project parameters and my video parameters need to be the same because if my project in my if my project um, the frame rate of my project is 30 frames per second and the frame rate of my video is 25 frames per second then that is when I was facing problem in my preview when I was watching the video that is when I was facing problem because my project was in 30 frames per second and my video was 25 frames per second so there was difference in the frame rate in of my project and my video so your resolution project resolution and frame rate and your video resolution and frame rate needs to be aligned so that you do not face any problem watching the video in the preview and so that there is no video preview lag in VSCC so that is what I understood and uh, that, that this is the one solution which I wanted to share with you um, do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.